What's going on guys, Carol here. Today, today's video, we're going to be talking about the GTX 1080. Of course, if you're going to be a tech talk type of video, if you're not actually fond of these videos where I talk a lot on camera, unfortunately, I'm going to be talking a lot on the camera. But of course, the three topics of this video today is what I actually think about the GTX 1080 after a week of owning this card, how well it overclocks, or well, particularly my card anyway, and the actual overall performance of the card. So I've owned my GTX 1080 now for about a week. You actually see it's in the system ready to go. Of course, I've got the MSI Gaming X Edition. If you guys haven't seen the unboxing of this video, then of course, check it out. Link will be in the description after this video. But like I said, I've owned this now for about a week, and sometimes I'm sitting here thinking, regardless if it's the best card I've ever owned in my life, and I have to say it's the best card I've ever owned in my life, I'm still thinking, is it worth the money? You've got to think, remember guys, you probably have probably seen, it's like 550 to 650 pounds here in the UK. In America, it's way over $700. And in Europe, again, it's even more expensive than that, depending on what versions you get. And you have to sit here thinking, is it necessary to spend that amount of money on this GPU? And like I said, this is probably the best graphics card I've ever owned in my life. It absolutely smashes everything. And I've just been enjoying playing games on it. That's all I've been doing since I owned it. I haven't made any videos. I've just been literally enjoying a single 1080 performance. And I gotta say, it does perform very well. But of course, it performs a bit too well because that 1080p, it just absolutely smashes it. And honestly, guys, I really mean at 1080p gaming, the GTX 1080, doesn't matter what version you get, absolutely destroys 1080p gaming. It's literally way overkill. I probably wouldn't even recommend getting and spending that amount of money on a GTX 1080 if you're only going to game at 1080p. Unless you want a system that's going to be completely future-proof and you know you can smash out any game, then go ahead and buy the 1080 unless you're just crazy to buy anyway, like me. But if you are a bit short of money, you're not sure, then I would not recommend getting a GTX 1080 if you're going to play at 1080p, trust me, at every game I try at 1080p, I'm not even going to bother showing you any benchmarks on it because I maxed out everything with all the ultra settings on, advanced settings on, and I was getting crazy FPS. But of course, 1440p is a completely different story. I feel the GTX 1080 is built for 1440p. Now, I can't actually test 4K. I haven't got a 4K monitor, but I can tie, definitely tell you a GTX 1080 at 1440p is, to be honest, the perfect graphics card. It maxes everything out, and I was really impressed with it. On my 970s, everything was on high settings with, of course, good FPS. I'd class good FPS at 90, 80, 90, 100 plus. This card, I can put everything in the same games on ultra settings and get 100 FPS. So it's incredibly fast and it's just a beast. Games like Fallout 4, with all the mods in, texture mods, 4K texture mods, the course, the nude bodies, mods, everything in it. Again, on ultra settings, 100 FPS. GTA 5, ultra settings, some advanced settings on, again, average 100 FPS. It's crazy good. I have to say, this card is a pretty beasty card. So let's talk about overclocking for a second. Now, the first time I overclocked the GTX 1080, I was quite amazed in what performance I got out of it. I was actually really excited and couldn't believe it to a point compared to my older last generation 970s. I've got to say, it does overclock pretty damn good. Nvidia said Pascal GPUs overclock good. I've got to say, they do overclock pretty damn good. It runs GPU Boost 3.0 as well. It doesn't matter what you do, it just really wants to boost the hell out of the card. Even if you try lowering the core clock, it still boosts it way above the actual default spec. It's pretty crazy, to be honest with you. At the same time, very good. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a live demonstration of overclocking. I thought that's the best way of showing you. I'm going to be using Heaven Benchmark 4.0 with MSI Afterburn. I'm running the beta uh, 4.3 beta version. But apparently, according to MSI, told me that that's the best version at this moment in time. I'm recording this video for the 10X, 1080, or their 1080 anyway. So I decided to use that. And i got to say, it does overclock pretty good. So let's take a look. So we've got Heaven Benchmark 4.0 running now with, of course, MSI Afterburner. 
Now I thought I would do this on the camera rather than using shadow play to actually show you what's going on. Straight away, of course, you can see I got it completely stuck, except for I got the power limit to 120%, so I can get maximum power. The cars can use maximum power if it wishes to do so. But everything else is completely stuck. And straight away, you can see there, it boosts to 1,924 megahertz. This car is rated at 1,846. So straight away, out of the box, GPU boost is actually over boosting this car straight away. And when I first saw that, I thought, my God, this car is a beast. And it is, simple as that. Of course, the memory is running at 5,006 megahertz, which is, of course, times two, what equals 10,012. This card is rated at 10,000 megahertz on the memory. So overall, that's pretty good, pretty damn good for completely stuck. Now, for my 24-7 overclock, I've got a preset saved here. Of course, I enable it now. It's 700 on the memory, which is pretty damn insane, if you think about it. 130 on the core, again, 120 power limit zero voltage or equals at the current time at 2038 megahertz that's over two gigahertz my card overclocked so my 24 7 o'clock i decided to use with of course 5702 on the core on the memory should say of course times up by two equals 11,604 megahertz that's 1,600 megahertz overclock on the memory which is insane but of course a nice hefty over two gigabytes on the core now, I can get slightly higher in this. I do have a preset here, which is 800, again, 150, no voltage. It is hit and miss, though. If I enable it, let's see what happens. Again, you can see it's holding steady at 5,800. So that's a hefty uh, overclock on memory. And of course, it's gone to 2,063. If I actually increase the voltage, I can get it to 2,100 megahertz, so 2.1 gig. But it is very hit and miss, and it can crash, but that's pretty much what I get out of my card. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the GTX 1080. I gotta say, when I first went out and bought it, I was adamant I wanted to go and get SLI straight away. I didn't do it, and I'm happy I didn't do it because I feel one graphics card is more than enough for 1440p, which I love gaming at. At 1080p, no point even talking about it. It's just complete overkill. It'll max everything, high FPS, blah, blah, blah. It, trust me, it will. 1440p is perfect, so I'm actually quite happy to not spend the money yet on a second graphics card, but I will get one eventually and spend it on something else like equipment for the channel or of course upgrade the PC a bit more. But overall, like I said, if they're happy, you can see overclock's pretty damn good. And I think I'm gonna end the video there now. So of course, got any questions about the card itself or about the video or anything you wanna ask me, feel free to drop a comment below or any videos you wanna make, uh, drop a comment below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Of course, drop a thumbs up on the video, it's much appreciated. And if you're actually new to the channel, don't even subscribe for more awesome, hopefully awesome tech videos in the future. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's enough for today. So I guess I'll catch you next time. See ya.